How do you break the pattern of dating avoidant partners when you have anxious attachment style? Hi, I'm Kaylee Larkin. I'm a love and attachment coach, and I help people with insecure attachment styles to create fulfilling relationships rooted in deep connection, love, and trust. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new videos and visit me at kayleelarkin.com to check out my courses and free resources. Now, if you have an anxious attachment style and you find yourself consistently dating avoidant partners, you might be thinking, this is kind of frustrating. My needs aren't being met and you're not alone in this. Many people with anxious attachment experience this pattern and it can be tough to break, but it is not impossible. And in this video, we'll explore some strategies for breaking the cycle and creating healthier relationship patterns that really work for you. So first, it's important to learn the basics of attachment theory. You can watch my other video on the four styles, or there's one video for each of the styles. Understanding the traits of anxious and avoidant will give you clarity on why you have been drawn to avoidant partners. I've worked with many clients over the years who, before learning about attachment styles, felt completely blindsided by their relationship dynamics. They would come to me saying, I don't know what happened. Like, it's like I was hit by a truck. Why is this so painful? Why is this person not interested? Or why won't they commit? Or why won't they commit to scheduling time together? Nowadays, people are much more informed, like yourself watching this video. And yet, even with this awareness, many people still find themselves in these push and pull dynamics. And this happens because the anxious attachment style fears abandonment while the avoidant style pulls back to protect themselves from feeling too dependent on. And it totally makes sense based on what happens early on. So an essential step is to start noticing patterns early in your relationship before you get deeply involved. Pay attention to avoidant behaviors. Like, are they pulling away after the two of you have spent a lot of time together. Maybe they disappear for a few days after a significant moment happened, or maybe they're just consistently prioritizing their work over you. And recognizing these signs can help you avoid getting trapped in this incompatible relationship. Also, it's important to really focus on your self-healing and your personal growth and reflection. So understanding your own needs and why you're drawn to emotionally unavailable partners. And you can explore these issues through courses, videos, articles. There's my blog at kayleelarkin.com. You can build self-esteem, which is so vital because part of anxious attachment stems from a hit on your self-worth due to inconsistent care early on in your life. And I have a video on why this happens, why this inconsistency causes anxious attachment. But imagine you're going to open your refrigerator and grab some milk or something else out of it. You always keep it in the same place. You expect to find it where you left it. And that consistency, it builds confidence. And so similarly in relationships, that consistency builds trust and security. So when you know that you reach out to your partner and they'll be there for you, that builds trust over time. And this consistency can be lacking in the development of anxious attachment style, especially from a primary caregiver early on in life. It can damage your confidence. And by building up your self-esteem, you can strengthen your confidence and you can better meet your needs. Another really important thing to learn is uh, setting healthy boundaries in relationships. And this involves respecting other people's need for space and honoring your own needs. And so it's like this dual, this dual relationship between respecting their boundaries, respecting their space and respecting your own needs and desires. And so you can ask yourself, how far am I willing to go in a bad relationship to maintain it? And these are these internal boundaries and having clear boundaries helps prevent you from ignoring your own needs just to keep the relationship going. So to break this pattern, it can be helpful to seek out secure relationships, start learning the signs of secure attachment and what to look for when dating. So relationships develop over time 
and you want to naturally let them grow rather than rushing into them. So think of it like boiling a pot of water if you were going to make some tea or coffee. You want to wait until it reaches the right temperature before you make your beverage of choice. If you rush it, you'll end up with lukewarm results. Similarly, give your relationship time to develop properly before seeking commitment. And this way you can ensure that your needs are met and you can avoid falling into the same patterns. Also remember to have compassion for yourself. So acknowledge that there may be some wounding. It's okay to have feelings about it. Everyone has their own struggles, really. Everyone in the world has some internal struggle that they're either trying to hide or most people can't see. And recognizing this can help you be kinder to yourself as you work through these challenges. Expand your social circles, get to know a variety of people. This not only decreases the likelihood that you'll fall back into these old patterns, but it also boosts your self-esteem and your confidence. So when you're focusing on what's important to you, when you're engaging in hobbies and interests, it can lead you to people who share your passions and who may have secure attachment styles. And of course, learning what to look for uh, in secure attachment is important to recognize that. So breaking the cycle of dating avoidant partners takes conscious effort, commitment, and a willingness to be self-reflective. It's a process of growth that not only improves your relationships, but also enhances your overall emotional well-being. I hope this video was helpful. If you know someone who could benefit from it, please share it because you never know who you're going to help. This is Kaylee Larkin wishing you a beautiful relational journey. And if you want more information, you can visit me at kayleelarkin.com where you can find a secure attachment rewire course, a course on boundaries, guided visualizations, and an attachment blog. Thank you for watching.